Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this morning um, I actually went to town to get some groceries. So I just came home and I thought I would do, um, we would do a fun little haul for you here. Um, this trip was for a lot of um, essentials like for packing the kids lunches and things like that. So you'll see a lot of lunch things and just some necessities otherwise. Um, so I'll just show you really quick what we got. So over here, I just have some Mr. Clean cleaner. Um, I like to use this one for in the basement because it's more of a concrete floor and this one is a stronger cleaner, uh, just tends to do a better job. Uh, back here we have some kitchen bags, um, dishwasher detergent, uh, contact solution, then we were almost out of butter, and cream cheese, and then just a couple uh, bunches of bananas some lettuce um, and then some eggs we were out, basically out of eggs um, maple syrup and then a bag of the Mexican style cheese um, and then of course just some baby food pouches for Weston um, he loves these and these are great for quick snack on the go and then over here we have um, some yogurts for lunches as well as some of these pudding packs um, I don't often get these so that'll be fun for them to take to school and then I seen these at the bakery section and I thought I could um, put these in individual bags and then they could take one and they're filled in the middle and then um, these three different varieties of the Cheez-Its and then these crackers with the peanut butter um, of course just some fruit snacks for them and then a couple bags of the um, chicken nuggets and these were on sale so I went ahead and got an extra bag of those and then we have just some Chick-fil-A sauce and a bag of just some coffee beans and then I also picked up a few sandals um, some little cute flip-flops for Weston and then um, just some cute little sandals for Chloe and then another thing that I got was um, some peanut butter and some chocolate chips and I got these to make some protein balls um, so I've been trying to go off sugar and I wanted to try it for a couple weeks. I've done it before. I know I can do it again to go um, off sugar. And so I had to get a different kind of peanut butter to make my protein balls. Um, did you know they add sugar into just your regular peanut butter? So yeah, I wanted to get some that didn't have any added sugars. This one, the ingredients are just dry roasted peanuts. So, um, it does separate a little but it'll be great for the protein balls and um, so something that you can do like when you do go off sugar if you're trying to do something like that is um, these protein balls it kind of gives you the feeling that you're eating something sweet and it kind of takes that sugar craving um, but anyways the protein balls are just like your oatmeal um, some honey peanut butter of course and then if you want to add in like um, chocolate chips or you can add in like protein powder so yeah then you mix it up and make like little protein balls now these chocolate chips are dark chocolate so there is um, erythritol in here like for the sweetener so um, I wasn't sure if I'm going to use these or not for the protein balls I'm not really hard on myself like to take out every single ounce of sugar um, and what I mean by that is like I'll still eat fruit and things like that like the natural sugars um, are okay but I know I feel so much better if I'm off of sugar or very limited on sugar and um, I would like to do that again so I'm gonna try it again and see if I can stay off of sugar for um, we're going to give it a couple weeks and see where we are at that point. And another thing that I got, and this is for a project for outside. Um, I can't wait to start working in the flower beds. We actually did mulch the flower beds already. Um, so this is another project for outdoors. And I want to do like a little um, 
like a water feature with a little fountain. Um, so I got a couple bowls at Walmart to try for like the, the water. Um, here's one size and then I got this little planter. It's a little bit bigger. So I'll see which one will work the best with the little fountain that I have. Um, yeah. I think maybe this one will be better, but I got one that's just a little bit smaller. And I like this one that it's clear. That way, yeah, you can't see it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see which one will work better. And I thought I can always paint this one to kind of match, match the uh, ground if I want to. That way it'll blend it a little bit more. And then I also got some paint. For the same project, um, I want to paint the bigger pot that I'll put the water feature into. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll make sense once I start the project. But anyway, that is pretty much my little haul for today. Um, didn't seem like I got that much, but we all know how groceries add up these days. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything away. Um, and then hopefully we can go outside for a little bit. It is so pretty outside. Um, I about can't stay indoors when it's so nice. So I'm going to quickly get everything put away and then we can go out and see how everything is doing outside. So while I was busy just putting the groceries away and things, Weston found a spot here on the floor that was really bugging him. So I gave him a little rag to wipe it up and he was pretty determined to get that spot up off the floor and I had to help him a little bit. It was kind of stuck on, I don't know what it was, but he wanted to get that off the floor so bad. So I helped him um, get it off there and he was pretty proud of himself.
after everything was put away and the kids were home at this point so we went outside and spent the rest of the afternoon outside it was so beautiful the sun was shining so nice and it was just perfect to be outside so we just spent the afternoon in the evening um, doing things around the house that i'm um, just kind of getting ready for spring and summer and i also thought i'd kind of take you around the flower beds and just kind of show you what we have going on there all right so over here we have um, our rose of sharon that's really coming out very nicely um, i can't wait till this thing has blooms it's so pretty um, I love the blooms they're just a really pretty pink um, so I can't wait for that one to start blooming and then moving around the house um, it's super bright out here but down here we have um, another really pretty bush um, I'm not much of a <laughs> gardener so I'm totally blank on the name right now uh, hydrangea maybe um, if I'm wrong I'll put it on the screen here so you can see but this one is a really pretty bloom as well. It's a kind of a reddish uh, raspberry color. I just love when this one blooms. Um, I don't know if it'll bloom this year because I did transplant this one last fall. So it may not bloom this year. I know when I transplanted it over to this place for like for the first time, I got to start from a friend and it didn't bloom for a couple years. So I'm not really expecting it to bloom this year for sure. Um, but I love it right here. And then moving over here, this is where I want my water feature to be in this giant um, plant, uh, pot here. And it's really, really big. So I'm hoping I can put one of those smaller pots in the middle with the water feature and then plant some flowers all the way around it. Um, hoping that's, that's that'll turn out. But I did want to just paint the red pot. Um, I just think it kind of clashes with the brick. And I thought if I would paint it that nice green or that gray, um, it would look more like a stone or like concrete. So yeah, I want to paint that one and hopefully it'll turn out. Along the sidewalk here are these. And again, I'm totally blank on the names. I will put them up here on the screen. Um, but I basically started out with one plant and I'm up to four. So every year I can um, split one and then plant new ones. Here is the new one that I planted this year and it does look like it needs some water. So I should probably go ahead and water that one. And then look back here is another one of those um, plants that are over there and I'm seeing a bloom. I don't know if you can see that or not but there is a bloom so I can't wait for that to come out it is such a pretty color and I always look forward to these blooming in the springtime I don't really see any other blooms so I did split the other plant off of this one so this one may not have a lot of blooms this year we may only get that one and then down here by our little pump um, these always come back every year um, I have them in a, a pot underneath here that's in the ground. These always come back every year um, and they really trail out nicely. Um, just kind of filling out this space over here. So I'm thinking about flowers that I need to get yet to fill this up. And I'm thinking maybe something over here as well as over here on this side. Um, but I don't want to crowd our plant there in the back. So... Um, but I do think it kind of looks empty just the way it is I don't know I guess we'll see what I can find and then up here on the porch we have um, calla lily I absolutely love calla lilies um, I think they're so pretty but I'm going to try this one in the pot this year clearly the weeds are doing well I just repotted this one but I have that one on the porch and that way you know if it's getting too much sun or not enough I can always move it elsewhere um, and then keep it watered and then I have the two ferns there by the door so that is what the porch is looking like so far 
and over to this side um, it needs a little bit of a upgrade over here um, we were out here sitting on the porch last evening and so I want to kind of do a little bit something over here as well we'll see what we can find so my little drain paths um, they need a little bit more gravel now that we mulched um, the gravel needs to just be built up again and make it drain nicely back here in the back of the house we have this little flower bed um, definitely needs some weeding there but we have this clematis right here and this one had an unfortunate happening um, someone that was using the weed eater kind of whacked off all of the vines <laughs> So most of these are dead and they're not attached to the plant anymore. So I need to go ahead and just clear these out. That way it can crawl back up on here. Um, but the plant itself is doing absolutely great. Um, it seems like I've been out here for the last couple days and every day it's, it's growing every day. It's just crazy how fast it's growing. So I should probably go ahead and clear this off. That way it's not growing on these stems that are dead but on, on this. I can't wait to work on the pool and get that thing in working order again. Um, just get, get it going and yeah, get the deck kind of updated again. Uh, we did quite a lot of work last spring on here and uh, I'm gonna show you all of that. I was gonna post that video last summer but it just never got edited and so I'll just do that maybe this year once we kind of get the pool going and things. Um, but we love it so much better now that it's a little more updated and um, yeah, looks a little bit better now. This bush always comes out so nice too. It looks like it's coming out really nicely this year again. Um, this one turns really nice and dark red in the summertime um, and it has grown quite a bit since we've lived here. Right, I'm gonna head out to our little raised beds out here see if anything is coming up out here um, we do have some raspberry plants or a raspberry plant I should say um, we planted several and only one survived but it looks like it's doing well um, here is that one and there's all kinds of buds on here so hopefully that's a good sign um, yeah, we did get a few raspberries off of here last year. And then over here is like my garden tea is what I call it. And it doesn't look like a lot, but this stuff multiplies pretty fast. And this just came up from last year. So I probably should clip it down, get some of these clipped down um, so that it can keep coming back. Jameson was out in the trees um, having fun out there just working on his little projects out there. Uh, Weston was getting lots of little tractor rides which was totally fine with him. He loves this kind of thing. So I went ahead and went up to that little flower bed and started to just work up there first just by taking all of those dead vines off of our little trellis and then I'm going to go ahead and work on pulling up all of those weeds. It was pretty weedy and as I was weeding um, there was a lot of the clover and those roots are crazy. They're, they just go everywhere. So it did take kind of a while to get all of those roots. I had to kind of dig down and pull all of those roots out. They were crisscrossed going every which way. So it did take a little bit of time but as I was doing this I found uh, quite a few earthworms that were coming off. Weston got his first encounter with an earthworm which was quite fun for him and I wish I would have caught his very first reaction on camera. It was quite hilarious but anyway I guess that's a good sign that we have lots of earthworms in the dirt here um, to keep everything nice and healthy. Needless to say Weston was quite intrigued and was sitting here all the while I was doing this watching for more earthworms to come out of the ground.
And here is what this little space looked like afterward, after it was all nicely weeded, weed free. So hopefully it'll do a little bit better now. And the next thing I wanted to just take down all of these little branches that were coming up from this tree, just little sprouts off of this tree. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those off so that we can mow around there really nicely and mulch that. And then the next project was moving over to the sandbox. I just wanted to clean this up and I'm going to start by just taking all of the toys and everything out of the sandbox and then just taking one of these metal rakes going over all of the sand and this will just help to gather up all of the leaves that have fallen in here um, you know last fall over the winter time just kind of clean it up and then we'll take out all of the leaves and the debris and then that'll lead us then that'll leave us with a nice sandbox. We do need to get some more sand again this spring, so hopefully we can do that. Weston is really getting at the age where he loves to play in here along with the other kids, so I'm looking forward to getting this filled up with some more nice, new, and clean sand. And then after we had everything cleaned out, I'm just going to go around just putting in the toys that were still in good condition. Um, some of the toys were kind of broken, not looking as good. So we kind of disposed of those and then just put in all of the good toys. All right, so one more thing that I wanted to do um, before I leave you here today, and that is make some of these protein balls. So I have all of the ingredients here, things that I'm gonna need. Um, we have some protein powder, and then of course my peanut butter, honey, um, oats, and these are uh, the old-fashioned oats, so they're the bigger ones. I would say you can use the quick as well. Um, then we have chocolate chips, and I'm going to do it in two different batches because I think one of them, I would like to try it with the chocolate chips, but then I'd also like to try um, with like adding some... Um, Black seed. I don't know maybe do a little bit of a variation on the other one so I'm gonna make it in two different batches and then we can taste test and see which one we like better so I'm gonna go ahead and get these mixed up and then we'll put them in the fridge probably for a little bit just to let them harden up before we put them in a container um, to keep them and I am gonna try to mix them up here in my Bosch that way um, it's a little bit easier. Normally I would just mix them up with my hands um, because it mixes up really well that way. But I'm gonna try this um, and see if this works. First, we're gonna add in three cups of our oats. And then this one, we're doing the chocolate chips. So um, 3 fourths cup of chocolate chips. And I would say if you're a big chocolate fan, um, add in whatever you like. Now, another thing that you could add in, I think it would be really good, is if you can get the unsweetened coconut to add in here, or the sweetened coconut, whatever. But for me, it'd be the unsweetened. I don't have any on hand. I wish I would, um, or I would definitely add some of that in here. And the recipe would call for one cup. And next, we're gonna add in our peanut butter. Um, so I measured the peanut butter out to see how much we have. We have a cup and a half, so we have three-fourth cup for each recipe, um, which works out great. So I'm gonna add in half of this for this batch. And I think that's about right. Next, we're adding in a half cup of our honey. But first, don't forget to spray your um, measuring cup with some spray so that your honey slips out really easy. And then the recipe does call for one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm gonna omit that because um, vanilla has sugar in it, so I'm just gonna leave that out. Um, but I think we're ready to mix up, so yeah, let's see how it turns out.
All right, so now we are ready for our next batch. And um, being the other batch seemed just a little bit on the dry side, um, I thought maybe I'd add in a little bit less of the oats. Um, normally you could just add a little bit more of the peanut butter, um, but since we're running a little bit short on peanut butter, I'm gonna try to just do less of the oats. I can always add a little bit more if I need to, but we're gonna start out with maybe like two and a half cups and then see how that looks. And then on this one, I'm going to add in um, a couple scoops of my protein powder. And I was actually gonna do this on the last batch, but I totally forgot. All right, gonna add in three tablespoons of chia seeds as well as flax seed. So at the time of doing this voiceover, it's been a couple days, so we've been really enjoying these protein balls. So I thought I would just give you uh, my opinion on which ones we liked. And I think the two and a half cups of oats worked a lot better. And I do think there is a difference on what kind of peanut butter you use. So depending what you use, um, it may take more or less, but two and a half cups was about perfect for the peanut butter that I used. And the ones with the flax seed and the chia seeds along with the protein powder those were really good as well i actually prefer those more than the ones with chocolate chips although those were delicious as well i think if i would have added the protein powder in the chocolate chip ones um, that kind of adds a little bit of a flavor which i think is um, makes them really good as well so we really liked both of them, but I think I do prefer the ones without the chocolate chips. Um, and maybe that's just because they did have the protein powder in them. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.